Hey guys, how's it going? The Haggard Nerd here. Welcome back to Frostpunk. Uh, we currently have some sick people, fortunately. Uh, we have some issues uh, with our food generation because the hunters came back and uh, they didn't really get us as much as I was thinking. Right now we are only gaining 15 raw food per day, but we are consuming 80 per day. So what I did was I've built a couple more of these hunters huts and I'm just going to have to pull people off of other jobs in order to um, get them to work and get us some food. But then the thing is, uh, for our coal, we are using more coal than um, than we have. I mean, we're, we're coming up, which that looks nice. I guess that's the projected amount. Uh, so maybe we can pull maybe one or two people off of coal uh, production to go hunt. I don't know. We're going to have to balance it out and figure it out. So let's go ahead and get it going. Let's go fast game speed. Um, I think I'm actually going to go ahead and pull three off. And then that way, as soon as this comes up, we'll, we'll have another. There we go. Oh, damn. What happened here? Okay. Uh, resource shortage. We're getting short on resources. Our needs are great and growing by the hour. To address this, we can enact a law that allows to extend working hours. Um... Oh, man. So if they work longer, then they'll be able to produce more. But then that's going to make them have to work. And then that's going to be... It's going to cause discontent. And uh, discontent will rise slightly. I mean, I'd hate to do that. But we kind of need the stuff. New law. A new law has passed. So then how do we extend the work time? How do we do that? How's our heat looking? This is all like still really, really cold. How do we do the heating? Okay, so I can turn on the heating. I, I thought that was like an automatic thing. Okay, so I can change the, the, the working hours here. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Okay, so here can't do anything much. Here I definitely, no, excuse me, with the uh, the hospital, I definitely need people to work. Oh, that's 24 hours. Okay, so that's that didn't really do much for me. <laughs> All right. Um, all right. Appreciate it, Torvok. Okay, so that's not really doing me any good. But for picking stuff up, that will actually help. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, let's check our economy because that'll help me out. Let's do... We just have the one that's currently being worked. And then we have our wood and stuff that I'm looking for. No. What? Where? We have no wood being gathered. There it is. Okay. I just didn't see it there, it seems. Uh, and then we have one person working the steel. Let's go ahead and do that. We don't really need steel, though, that much. We will. So it's not overburdening anybody, but right now we really need coal. We will need trees in order to, or wood in order to build more uh, stuff for people. So, so we got ten stick and one gravely. Oh man. Okay. Okay. Oh no. Oh no. I used. To, my father used to tell us we're lucky to work a ten hour day. Ten hours a day. I know many will complain, but we must work harder to survive. I hate it, man. I hate having to make people work. I really do. What is this? First amputation. Ah, shit. Ah, this patient's life. We, uh, to save this patient's life, we had to perform an amputation. As a result, this person won't be able to work. We must do something about it. Consider shining the care house or prosthetics law. Do we have a prosthetics law? Care house. Okay. The gravely ill and amputees will be cared for at low cost in special homes. Uh, the gravely ill are kept alive in care houses and no longer burden medical posts. That'd be nice. Residents of care houses eat half as much. Hope will rise slightly. You'll have to build a care house. Okay, in 60 hours, I believe I will sign this. And then maybe we can look at prosthetics. Oh, yeah. Plimpton47 is following on Twitch. Plimpton, welcome. Thank you for following on Twitch, bud. Welcome to the community. Make sure you join our Discord, discord.me slash the Haggard Nerd. And we are about to get our 
Beacon. Nice. Okay, I'm going to pause this, get our research going. Glad to see you online. Appreciate your KSP streams. I'm too much of a noob to figure it out on my own. Oh, it's alright. There's a lot to that game, but it's, uh, it's a fun game. Okay. So faster gathering. That'd be nice. People grow ca gather coal faster, gather steel faster, gather wood faster. That would be really, really nice. Coal thumper. By pumping pressurized water into the underground coal deposits, the coal thumper washes the precious resource to the surface. We got a sawmill. That'd be nice. We really need something about food. Hunter's gear. There we go. Better snowshoes and enhanced camouflage hunters setting out from the hunter's hut will return with more raw food. Yes, let's do that because we need food. We absolutely need food. <clears throat> okay, so 87... Oh, it's only at 87% efficiency. Okay. Uh, because two are in treatment. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. Still not... Cannot resume production. Requires raw food. Okay. Okay. Uh, Hunter's Hut we need... Let's go ahead and put two on it. Oh, man. We just like, have nobody. Now, can we build... The beacon. There we go. So we need 20 wood, 35 steel. We need a lot more steel. Okay. So let's check our production right now. Uh, we're doing okay with whatever... I'm going to think this is wood. So yeah, we could probably pull one person off wood. Doing okay there. Still not looking good there. And we're... Coal consumption is only negative 144 a day, but we're gaining 202 a day. So that's... We're actually in the green there, even though that's red, which is kind of... Weird. So let's go ahead and pull a couple people off here. Maybe eight. Let's bring it down to five, because then we have a surplus. So if we need, we can... Uh, assign them differently as needed. Okay. Let's do six and then put another in. Oh, that's already full. Okay. Is that full? Let's go ahead and put another in food, which we need. Cool. All right. Desperately need food. So I'm going to assume that that red line is now telling us that they we are, we are, we're at a deficit. So that's good to know. Okay. So these do have at a glance kind of deals. Okay. We only have one raw food. We have zero rations. Oh, it's this is not good. It's not good. Like I'm sending my hunters out. Hunts usually tw take 12 hours. The hunters have been away for about four hours. The hunters will return with up to 15 raw food. So they don't actually come back with 15 raw food. They can come up with up to 15 raw food. That that is rough. That is rough. Uh, Dragon, what's up, buddy? How's it going, man? Welcome to the stream. Okay, so this is free time, so let's go ahead and speed through this, and hopefully nobody dies. Oh, man. We're going to have to make another uh, another hospital, I think. I think that's exactly what we're going to have to do. But we need 25 wood, and we only have 21 right now. Oh, <laughs> uh, yes. Yes, indeed. Indeed, Chris. Indeed. Okay. Doing fine, all things considered. It is now work day. So what is going on here? Why? Why is it doing something to my screen? What does that mean? Why is it flashing? Uh, I don't know what the flashing was for. So amputees, people became amputees. As a result, serious frostbite, work accidents, other mishaps, or after becoming gravely ill and being saved by radical treatment, the amputees can't work, still need to be housed and fed. Later in the game, you can research upgrades that will help you find solutions to this problem. Okay. Uh, so many things. What's up, UG? How's it going? Uh, this came out on the 24th. It's the 27th now, so... 
Uh, is this game any good? What is it about? It's a city builder slash survival game. Um, set in the distant future, basically an ice age. And uh, this is your heating thing. And uh, you have to keep people warm. Because if uh, they're not warm, then they die. And they get sick. And, uh, and unlike most city builder games, you're actually confined to this like crater. Which is kind of interesting. So yeah. I think it's pretty good. It, it's very intense. So it's very kind of gloomy though. It's very atmospheric in that respect. So, okay, so we should have enough to build something. We have the medical post now. We have the tech. We need to get the beacon going, but we don't have enough steel just yet. So, um, people working here gather resources from nearby coal piles. Okay, okay, so basically instead of them having to run back and forth, they could probably just plop it in something and run back and forth. Okay, okay, okay. I think that's what that is. So the cookhouse, we already have one of those, but we're not using it because there's no food, unfortunately. Let's make another medical post. Let's put it right there along with the other one. Oh, no. So everybody's working. We're not going to have any engineers to work on it. It's pretty... Heard it's kind of linear. Um, I don't know if if you like this sort of challenge. If you you kill off your community or whatever, um, I mean, there's probably something in trying to uh, build, rebuild your colony and survive. I don't know. I don't know. Depends on how much you like this type of game, I guess. Okay, so I guess with this uh, convoy, we could get up to 20 more people, which could be beneficial, but also a pain in the butt because. I mean, we definitely want to save the people. Don't get me wrong. But we're also going to have to care for them and feed them. And we're already having a food issue. Okay, so that's good. Uh, wait, I think... No, food rations use is going down. The food rations gain is going up. Raw food gain is slowly coming up. Okay, I was misreading that earlier. So this was our initial food rations. So I'm not freaking... I don't need to freak out as much as I thought I was. Um... So we're now gaining 34 per day. Okay. Okay. Whew. Oh, I was worried there. Okay. So we don't necessarily need this many here. Uh, we do need a few more people, I think, on wood. Let's go ahead and do that. HackMG, what's up, buddy? Welcome to the stream. Okay, so we have nobody working that. You know, let's go ahead and pull... Oh, we need engineers for this. Crap. What's going on here? A frightened patient. One of our people is facing death. Oh no, but he's still refusing amputation. Keeps screaming that he doesn't want anyone to touch his leg and he won't change his mind, even though gangrene will kill him in a matter of hours. <sighs> right to choose, man. Still refusing amputation. He keeps screaming that he doesn't want anyone to touch his leg. And he won't change his mind, even though gangrene will kill him. If that was, if that's what he wants, then we're gonna let him be. I mean, I hate that somebody's gonna die, but I'm not going to. I don't know. I, I respect people's wishes, you know. Haggard, uh, I, I don't know what kind of hint you're wanting to give, but I'm, I'm worried that whatever hint you're going to give me is going to change my perspective on things. And I'd prefer not to do that. I'm kind of enjoying this, like, first take on things. Okay, Hunter's Gear Research. Cool. So now we have that going. So Steam Hub, uh, Power Rod Generator. These contraptions create additional smaller heat zones around them. Okay. Okay. So we could probably go ahead. We already did that one though, right? Oh no, that's faster gathering. We did the food thing. So let's do faster gathering next. Uh, but I'm going to need, what, 10 wood for that? And I only have seven. Okay. I mean, we could disable this now, I think. 
Okay, and then we'll get wood back from that. That was a waste. I understand that. Technology tree. Yeah, I'm waiting. I'm waiting for wood. As soon as I can get the tin wood. We're one off. Let's go ahead and speed this along. There's tin wood. Okay. One of our people died. Is that the guy with the gangrene? On day six of our arrival, one people died. Lack of treatment. Okay, so yeah. That's what that was. So that sucks. What is this? Painful death. Patient refuse. Amputation has just died in gangrene. We did our best to ease his pain, but he suffered terribly in the end. Oh, no. Um, it was his choice. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, that sucks. What is this? Okay. Uh, word of advice. First death. One of our people has just died. Sickness, accidents, and deadly cold will keep claiming lives in this harsh world. We need a way to dispose of the body. Open book of laws. So cemetery. Introducing the law. Another one can be passed. New building cemetery. Hope will rise slightly. No risk of disease from unburied bodies. Each burial will keep some people from work for a few hours. You'll have to establish a cemetery. Okay. Corpse disposal. A snow pit. No risk of disease from unburied bodies. Bodies are preserved for potential future use. You have to dig a snow pit. Hope will fall. Discontent will rise. I'm okay with the cemetery. Knowing the devil will rest in peace is oddly comforting. Yes, indeed. Alright, so... People, cemetery. Tin wood. That's the tin wood I was going to spend, but... In addition to street. Okay, so I mean, do we have to... I guess I'm going to put it back there, kind of out of the way. Speed that along. Okay, it's nighttime. What's going on here? More sick bag that's needed. Captain, some of our people are concerned about the rising number of untreated sick. They're asking for you to address the problem. I'll open a new medical post. I promise the sick will be treated. I mean, don't I I can't promise that the sick will be healed. You'll have three days to admit one third of the sick to treatment. Okay. Let's do that. So 11. So one third. So that's like three. <laughs> Maybe four. But uh, we need we need people here working. So we need to pull. Okay. So we have. Yeah. Let's just let's just do that. And take care of that. And then um, we're gonna have to figure out the food situation. Do we have engineers here? We do. Let's do that. What is, it, what is this? Five sick absences. Okay. That's good. Uh, so we have two people just hanging out. Oh, they are uh, the amputees. Okay. If you had to choose one, what would it be? I don't know what I would be choosing from. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and... Uh, oh, we need to build the beacon still. So, yeah, I think we have the wood for that now. Beacon. 35 steel. Damn. Alright. So let's go ahead and pull people off this and do a max on the steel. And let's go ahead and make that long hours and speed this along so we can get as much steel as possible. We need 35. So that's going to be tomorrow. We are now too hungry. A cemetery established. Alright, so that's good. So go ahead and pause this. You have people working that. Let's go ahead and speed it along. I'm hungry. Okay, let's check our economy here. Uh, so the raw food gain, that's good. But we're on a food shortage. I'm, I'm kind of not understanding that properly. So cookhouse, there's... Requires raw food. The hunter's huts bring in raw food. So I guess... 
<laughs> okay. Maybe it's just for the evening. Hopefully not. Can we heat this up higher? Consumption. Okay, okay, here we go. So now is this uh Oh, so so we're not powering these things. That's Okay, that makes a little more sense. I didn't realize I had to go in and freaking flip them on. That's a lot of freaking uh, coal that I'm going to be using. So let's check this again. Now they're warm. Okay. What's going on here? Okay, so still waiting on the steel so I can make the beacon. Sometimes I wonder what purpose of our struggle is. Yeah, right. Got to hold on. People are depending on me. Get to work. Move, people. There's plenty to do. Okay, you can introduce a new law. So the new law I wanted to sign earlier had to do with extra rations, but we're kind of having an issue with food. So that's all there. I'm not going to do child labor. Ceremony or funerals. Those who give their lives to service the city. Service to the city deserve the highest honor. We will give our dead ceremonial funerals to inspire the living. Loss of hope caused by death is halved. Yeah. There's organ transplants too. Let's go ahead and do that. Technology? Are we done with our current technology? Or no, we're still waiting on... Me. <laughs> okay, so the beacon. We're we okay, we have enough steel now for the beacon. But now we need wood. So 20 wood. So let's go ahead and pull that off and do that. Okay, cool. Said, our dead deserves no less. Death is an everyday thing here. Why celebrate it? Oh man. Okay, free time. time to rest. Okay, do we have enough to build the beacon? We do. Put it there. built we know we're no longer lost and blind from now on people will be able to survey the icy barrens that surround us the frostland good oh wow okay what's up Roden? how's it going bud heavy bag of tools oh no that's that's no good man i wish you luck with that what's up matt how's it going So now we can look around. That's good to know. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. So lost expedition and a gloomy cave. Okay. So what's this up here? Go directly to the beacon to deploy a new unit. Build an outpost. Deploy outpost teams. Go to city. So since Scott's there here to learn more about the place. And we're stint so we can see people moving about. They must be lost members of our expedition. Okay. So we need to... Okay, so we need at least five citizens for a scout team. And we need 40 wood and five workers. Okay. So as soon as we get some wood, uh, we'll pull some of the workers off. do that I guess tomorrow what is this ready to research people cheer as the giant observation balloon soars above the city this is a real feat everyone else no everyone feels proud of the work they've done to make it happen volunteers have lined up eager to go looking for our lost people in Frostland the woman who came forward earlier is among them we needed a win 
Okay, so that's that's good. If you map. Okay, so yeah, we we just need wood and we need uh, to pull five people. All right, dragon. Thanks for hanging out, bud. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and speed this along. We are starting to run low on coal, a bit lower than I'd prefer, but we're gonna see how it goes when they collect tomorrow. Okay, let's check our economy for food, see how that's going. So the red is the food rations use. The dark green is the raw food gain. We're still gaining 36 per day, but we have five people here working. Do I need to click this? Like. Let's go ahead and make long days for those. Okay, let me let me think about this. Okay, so raw food gain is getting higher, which is good, which means we need to cook those. Let's go ahead and do an emergency shift on food. Cuz we need we we need the uh, the food because people are starving. Good luck, Roden. Okay. So the beacon, okay. Beacon allows you to explore frostlands with scouts. Got it. Deploying scouts. Scouts are self-sufficient, can venture great distances from the city. They may find precious resources, survivors, perhaps shed light on the world and its fate. The progress of your scouts is shown through the icons in the upper right corner. Got it. It's actually kind of cool. Okay. So, uh, we're still waiting on wood, but then again, it's free time, so it's not time for them to collect yet. They should start collecting soon. So now we're getting wood. We need 40 wood. One of our people died. Uh-oh. Uh, an accident. Crap, he was an engineer, too. That's not good. Does anybody need to be working this? No. Okay. What's this? Death of overwork. Oh no. One of our people died suddenly during an emergency shift. We don't know what happened. It's likely it was a heart attack. In emergency shift for today. Oh no. That is not good. That is not good, man. Okay. Do they have the long hours though? Let's do that. Steel wreckage depleted. So we're going to find some more steel. Uh, I think if I would, it's all just wood. Okay. Steel wreckage. There we go. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and speed this along so we can get our 40 wood. Almost there. Hopefully we can get 40 before the day ends. There's 40. Okay. So now we need to select five people. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and do a minus one. Three. Four. You're an engineer. I don't want to spend you. Five. There we go. Let's do that. All right. So we need to go ahead and send you guys to there. So I'm assuming that's approve. Got it. Cool. Cool. All right. So I'm going to have to start looking at getting coal back up. As we are gaining 67 per day, we're using 206 now that I've turned all the, the heaters or whatever on. So I really need to pull a bunch of people back. That's on long hours. I 
I mean, if we can pull people off of hunting, that'd be nice. But I don't think that's something we can do. So the green, that's looking better. Let's, let's let it ride kind of as it is right now. And I just realized that I've already ran over on my time. So let me go ahead and end this episode, guys. So uh, those of you on the stream hang out, we'll continue. But uh, for those of you who are new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you like what I do, hit the like button. If you're ever on the Twitch or the Mixer side, make sure you hit the follow button as well. I'd appreciate it. And guys, do me a favor and share my videos, share my live streams, leave likes, leave comments, all that good stuff. Because the more you guys interact with the videos and stuff, the more people will come and hang out and be part of the community. I definitely want to grow the community as big as possible, but I need your help to do that. So I definitely appreciate all the support you guys give me every single day. Thank you guys so much. You guys rock. And my way of saying thanks is once we hit 2,500 subscribers on the YouTube side, I'll be doing a giveaway. So make sure you check the link in the description for more information. So guys, I'll catch you in the next episode. As always, thanks for watching. Take care.